a hot water tap in Vietnam. Uh, sort of, sure, I guess. When you ask a welder to fix something for you. I want a skeleton made of bolts. Kinda looks like crab legs, now I'm hungry. Hand drilled speaker grill in an elevator in a newly built $100 million building. I, is, is, is there a template for this? Or is Joe usually the guy that does this and Joe just, had a little bit too much to drink last night. I'm actually impressed, as you should be. Redneck engineering is way more uh, effective, is probably the right word for it, than people give it any credit for. I accidentally broke off one blade, so I clipped two more to keep the fan balanced. It, I, yes, but also, this is a, what, 40 millimeter fan. They're, they're not that expensive. <laughs> Redneck repurposing of kids' recreational toys. <laughs> I'm a skateboard fan. Oh my God, it's a redneck dad. This must be like Southern Midwest. Our hose broke at work. But luckily, we got a redneck in the kitchen. Always good to have at least one redneck around. Also, how is this redneck? This is just good engineering. Like, y'all have never done this when you had nothing else around. This dude was towing a shed with a lawnmower. Yes? Oh, oh God, I'm the redneck, aren't I? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my dad's lawnmower. We modified it to have a trailer hitch on it so we could move the boat around our yard. I think we pulled a like tiny trailer with not a shed, but like a like a workbench thingy on it at one point too. Yeah, I'm the redneck, aren't I? Oh well, touchless dispenser. Almost touchless. Um, uh, Hands-free dispenser is what I'll give you. I unless your foot is non-corporeal. Let's level to me. <laughs> I mean, it's basically the same thing as a spirit level. Break light switch. <laughs> you can do stealthy breaks. 2017 Pontoon Camper Project. 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 Of course it's in Florida. You have a feeling, uh, they, they, they got the pontoons free from somewhere and already had the camper and then realized just how expensive a trailer was. If you've ever lived on a country road, imagine the bounce back on that. <laughs> that's how to fix it. Redneck shed lock. Yeah, that's good enough. I mean, anybody dumb enough to steal something out of the shed, it's probably gonna get shot, so. Pull heater. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Honestly, this is not as bad as I was expecting. It doesn't involve propane. Uh, so, you know what? It's fine. We needed to disassemble a shelf in an office, and we didn't have a mallet. Rubber bands plus hammer equals mallet. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's exactly how it works. Also, books. We have ourselves a craftsman. Oh, hot, oh, hot damn, that's that's genuinely cool. I, th I think that's cool. That's, that's nifty. Ah, homemade brush cutter up to six inches in diameter. Works amazing. Um, okay. Why is that terrifying? Like that's somehow more terrifying than the actual brush cutters. Just mowing along with my homemade bear helmet. Y you need that much? <laughs> I don't think any of the lines are gonna be straight by the time he's done. Introducing the muds, the mud stain. Yep, I read that right. That's a male. <gasps> it's one of my favorite cars ever. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I wanna drive that so bad. That's gorgeous, I love it. Right next, security system. I mean, the fact that it's a manual is a already pretty good <laughs> security system. Not sure if this fits here, but I needed a longer aux cord. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I did this when I was a kid because I didn't know what a 1 8 coupler was or like where we would even get one. No power and you need to charge a phone? No problem. Uh, the, the, yes, this genuinely this will work and it's mostly safe. Like that's 12 volts of power. That's a 12 volt charger. That, yes. Well, at least it's not a dimmer switch. Break lights. On, off. You know, uh, I... I when I came up north, I heard about vehicle inspections and I'd never heard of that because that's not a thing that Florida does. And for the longest time, I thought it was the stupidest thing ever. I was like, if the government wants to inspect a vehicle before it drives on the road, they better be providing that vehicle because otherwise it's their private property. Like the hell, they pay taxes for the roads. And, and and then I started seeing some of the stuff that was going at, you know, 60, 70 miles an hour as dangerous instead of cool. A and it started to make sense. I still don't support it, but it started to sort of make sense. This this is one of those things. I see nothing wrong with this. <laughs> Uh, other than the, the fact that it's just more expensive. Like, if you're harvesting materials, at least harvest something of equal or lesser value. Band-aids are expensive. Heavy duty office chair for extreme spreadsheets. Found this on an old project file. I was ahead of my time. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh no, never mind. Though, the funny story. The wired version of this drill, which was my first drill because it was $15 on sale and that's all I could afford, actually has a level in the top. Genuinely has a level. <laughs> That just makes me so happy. Why would anyone buy a weed eater? Uh, oh. Oh, oh, I didn't think of that. Oh man, I wanna see this thing run. When you have liability only and the forecast is calling for hail. Pretty car though. 
So there was a hole in the window and this is how our school decided to fix it. Yeah, I, uh, higher ed does this too, especially in New York City. Duct tape and plywood everywhere. Grandpa one, trash panda zero. Ah, uh, that's, uh, yeah, actually that's perfect. Like this is simple and elegant and it's outside in an area of the yard that nobody's going to care about. Like, no, this is just good. <laughs> Broke my spray bottle trigger. Uh, turns out a 223. Bullet casing fits perfectly. <laughs> it looks awesome too. But this ply would look weird. Uh, got closer. It's printer paper and scotch tape. Illusion 100. I got a hated pull now. Yep. That, that's, that. okay, sure. Can't. That ought to do it. Oh my Jesus, I've seen this before and it's terrifying. Local shop wanted $400 to use their coil compressor. What the hell? Boss said I could borrow the pony clamps as long as I brought them back. I, 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 this works perfectly. I, the thing, the thing with red, rednecks just don't have functional fixedness and that's a good thing. This guy who came to AutoZone today, uh, said he wrecked his two Priuses. Oh, we've seen this before. So he welded them, <laughs> the non-wrecked parts together and made a six door car. It's not a Prius limo because it's just six doors. Doors, which is the most disappointing part of this entire story. Rediscovered my first welding project while cleaning my truck. Socket pliers, patent that. We have a PS5 at home. The PS5 at home. $350, just sitting here, eating popcorn. Cell phone in hand with 911. I already punched in. It ain't a matter of if, it's a matter of when. This is how my friend's apartment maintenance man decided to hang the clothes rack. You know, there are receivers for that. Yeah, it's tube. Like you could literally get a flange to, to the, with the screws. You could get this threaded for free at Home Depot and get the, the screw on thing and mount the screw on thing to the wall. Ah, oh. redneck cyber truck. Hey, you know what? This one actually exists. Got it on the road. Home alone, uh, no help to replace the bottom washer. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, good luck. My flight sim rig. <gasps> I love flight sim rig. <laughs> you know what? You know every flight sim rig is is lovely and precious and wonderful, and is, yours is perfect. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. My buddy's backyard urinal. I I, I I'm torn between why why did you put this much effort into it, and also did you need a specific spot in the backyard to be your urinal? If you're not gonna go into the house, like at that point, like why are you even pretending to have any organization on this? I'll just knock. Thanks. The ring doorbell connect wires. Don't worry, it's just 12 volts. Just don't like. It. <laughs> so the analog stick's head broke and uh, I end up gluing a cork from a wine bottle. I like it. That actually looks comfy as hell. I, I kind of want to try that now. Do you have blue automotive tape on your cable as well? My God. I, I kind of just want to send this person an Xbox 360 controller out of pity. <laughs> like, yeah. The ultimate redneck engineering from Russia. Russia is nothing but redneck engineering at this point. Wait, is that a concealed toilet? I can't decide if that's cool or not. That's kind of cool. That'll do for now, he said. That was four years ago. Good lord. Oh, yeah, I, I support a lot of redneck engineering projects. I do not support those involving electricity, gas, or suspending anything at all. No, I don't trust gravity. Or rather, I trust gravity to win against a redneck. This counts, right? Oh, definitely. <laughs> uh, this is a cross between DIY and redneck engineering. Oh, if crap is falling off, because I can't see. My dad's car shock absorbers. Are, are those, those tennis ball? You know, I don't know the compression force of a tennis ball. I hope your dad has done the math on that. I'm not going to think too hard about this beyond that, because it terrifies me, especially above like 15 miles an hour. When the shoe fits. <laughs> Okay, all right, that one's good. I like that. My local Ilo Taro putting a shopping cart to good use. Okay, this must be a south southwest thing. I do not know what an Ilo Taro is, but I but I know enough to know that if it's coming out of a pot in a shopping cart that's been overly elaborately decorated and he's got a hat that big, it's gonna be damn good. So pulled her at my friend's house. What? Screws are not fences. Screws are. Get some sheet metal. Come on, even like like a pipe or conduit or something. When you mind to make sure you're social distancing from the other campers at the campground. <laughs> yes. My gas cap stopped closing properly, so I came up with a solution. Ah, uh, yes, the bathroom latch on anything that won't stay shut. Uh, the sound is a bit washed out. Get out. Shut up. Shut up. Take your puns and get out. When you forget your spoon at home. I have done this. I have literally done this. Not not this exact way, mind you. I had a, I, I was fortunate enough to have a knife on me because I always carry a knife. But yeah, I, I, I cut a 
a spoon out of like that compressed cardboard stuff because I was really hungry and I didn't have a spoon and I had gotten food that required a spoon. Spotted this beauty at a Walmart. That is glorious. That is a, oh my God, that's a VW Beetle camper. Oh, I want it so bad. Stick fix. Okay, yes, good, twig. I'm glad, I'm glad you, you found this. Where did you get the Taco Bell hot sauce? I can't find it anywhere. I have been looking everywhere for it. I can't tell if that's the hot sauce. It might be the red sauce. Either way, I can't find any of the Taco Bell sauces and I know they're for sale and I can't find them and it's making me very angry. That is all. <laughs> and carry on with your twigs. Two stroke death trap, <laughs> $300 sold. Do you question life? Two stroke converted go-kart. Converted from what? This thing screws, uh, take your life in your hands. Come take it off my hands before I die. If you want to cheat death, uh, you need this. GPS said 20 seven miles, uh, one inch off the ground. Yeehaw! To be fair, I, uh, I have an electric scooter that is far too overpowered for its own damn good. And it'll, it'll go 31. I've been 31 on that thing and it was about two or three inches off the ground and you're standing and it is a terrifying experience. The AC stopped working in the truck today, uh, so we improvised. Works super well. Yeah, um, this is called a swamp cooler. Again, I actually built one of these in my first apartment because I couldn't afford an AC unit, but I could afford four lasagna, disposable lasagna trays, a Tupperware bin. I already had a big computer fan lying around and I had a freezer in my apartment. So I filled all the lasagna tins up with water, used them as cartridges to fit into the Tupperware bin, cut a vent in the front of the Tupperware bin, put the fan in the back pointing down so it would suck air in, blow it across the ice, and it would come out the vent. So I put that behind my monitor so that the cool air would come down uh, and cool that little tiny area there. It works. They're called swamp coolers. They, they, they work. It's just evaporative coolers. Business in the front, party in the back, like a sweet mullet. What in the... What? How? That's, that's, a, that's a boat? Question mark? What is that? What was it originally? I think it was a boat, but the little sliding windows are... Uh, Blue to a Ford, uh, whatever those were called, transits? I, think, I don't remember. That's glorious. That's be I want to restore that. That's amazing. I was making a <clears throat> the swing, good for you, and uh, found out it works for motorcycles. Okay, I'm not sure which part of this you were serious about, but you know what has, has to happen now. Yep, you're going to be spending tonight with your motorcycle. <laughs> the Ford tank! Yes! More vehicles need treads. I love how short it is, too. It's the front half of the, what, F-250? <laughs> Tank. I want it so badly. <sighs> I am a sucker for all the redneck vehicles. Few upgrades to the whip. We got a, a nice comfy dining room chair and a uh, <laughs> doorknob set for the, <laughs> the water spigot for the cooler. Foundation for my retirement home. If this is a pun, I will send you to, oh my God. Broke my glasses, uh, lost my backups. Threw this together out of desperation. This this looks like a prop out of Kingsman. I, I can't explain it. It just does. My brain is hurting from looking at this picture. Uh, uh PT, uh, uh, what in the? Okay, hang on. You got a PT Cruiser as a engine still there? Is that powering the thing? Did you take a front wheel drive vehicle, transmission and all, and stick it to the back of a, is the motorcycle over there? I'm so confused. How my uncle charges his laptop. Why? Just to be different? <laughs> This only works if your laptop has a 12 volt power adapter, by the way. Don't do this. Jeep plus winch plus tree plus pool equals sweet summer zipline. Uh, what, 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 what? Oh, oh, okay, I see. All right, yeah, no, this is fine. Yeah, this is all right. Mm that bad. My 96 year old great grandma was having trouble. Alrighty. Her apartment's AC uh, vent blew directly into her eyes to the point she couldn't watch TV or read anymore. Yeah. I made a cardboard. I was about to suggest a cardboard vent cover <laughs> to go over the vent and reverse the airflow direction. That'll do it. That's wow. That's way fancier than anything I would have made, but good job. Yeah, uh, if, if you shove a air conditioner unit through the porthole of a boat, you it, it actually works pretty well. However, it'll basically dry out your eyes immediately because it's blowing directly down from above. So you get one of those Clementine crates and you tape that to the ceiling of the cabin and it redirects the, the, the airflow and kind of dissipates it throughout the entire cabin, keeps the cabin nice and cool. I think what we've learned today is that, yes, I am still a little bit redneck. Dogs own the truck. Hey, yeah. Yeah, brother. I drive. <laughs> I love the uh, dogs own the truck. I drive and pay for the gas. It's our way. Walk all of them good boys. Bet that truck never gets broken into.